smoking is a common activity which helps people bond together. They believe that smoking makes them look cool, sure, sophisticated, fun, etc. As we have discussed, most of these beliefs have come from movies. Movie makers are paid to show this by cigarette companies. And this is the result of media brainwashing. Then there is society brainwashing. Every smoker has smoker friends and relatives. They spend so much time and money on smoking. They know it has bad health effects. But they still smoke. We grow up seeing this and start believing that smoking must be very pleasurable. Otherwise, why would they smoke despite all these costs and problems? And whenever you ask a smoker why he smokes, he always has many reasons to smoke, such as pleasure, time pass, taste, relaxation, stress relief, etc. It makes you believe that smoking is pleasure. This is society's brainwashing. We have already evaluated these beliefs, and now we know that these beliefs are the result of smoking deceptions. The only reason people smoke these disgusting cigarettes is to remove the urge created by low levels of nicotine. But they don't know that they are nicotine addicts. They don't want to look stupid or like a drug addict. So they have to justify their smoking. They give the reasons that they believe in their smoking deceptions. They believe what the nicotine hacker makes them believe. The reality is that they are nicotine addicts, whether they know it or not. But secretly, they wish they were not smoking. That's why almost every smoker tries to quit multiple times. According to Philip Morris Research, the largest tobacco company in the world, over 85% of smokers accept that, I wish I had never started smoking. Smoking does do one thing. It gives you something to do when you can't think of anything else to do. Whether you are alone or with people, it is an activity that occupies your hand and mouth. I am an introvert. After I smoked my final cigarette, I sometimes missed having a smoke when the conversation in the group had died down, or I couldn't think of something funny or cool to say. Or if I was in a loud, noisy party and needed to get away from it for a bit. Smoking gave me an excuse to make time pass faster without putting in any extra effort to come up with something interesting to say or do. But why would I choose to poison myself to fill up that time? Why not just drink a sip of water or whatever drink you were having? Or go for a walk? Or play a game? Why choose to do an activity like smoking, which dulls your brain? When I quit smoking, my brain became sharper and my self-confidence increased. Now, it has become easier for me to combat boredom with interesting things. I am able to have much better conversations in social situations. I still get overwhelmed sometimes in loud, crowded parties, so I step outside like I did before, just without the cigarette. I chat with the smokers standing outside, feeling bad that they are still trapped in their smoking deceptions and nicotine addiction. In fact, now that my brain is fully oxygenated and I no longer feel the urge, I have become less anxious in social situations too. I still need to fill the time with something sometimes, but I do it in other ways not by suffocating myself with cigarettes. The smokers who try to quit also have this common concern that they will lose their friends if they stop smoking. But it is not so. Smoking is not a criterion. If it was, you wouldn't have ever made any non-smoker friends. Your true friends are not friends with you because you smoke. They are friends with you because they like to spend time with you. Everyone knows that smoking causes tremendous health problems, and almost every smoker wants to quit. So if you quit smoking successfully, they will respect you. C. 
Secretly, they will wish that they were also able to quit. They might not say it verbally because most smokers don't like to accept that they also want to quit. It's because accepting that would hurt their ego. The reality is that your friends will respect you and you will still be able to enjoy their company. What's more, you will be able to make many more non-smoker friends because you will be able to spend time with them also at parties and social gatherings. They will also respect you. Based on my personal experience, when I quit smoking, I got much more respect. Even my friends started asking me how I was able to quit. I helped many of them to quit smoking as well. The fact is, smoking and vaping have nothing to do with social situations. They don't 